kicked off the Hawaiian craze in 1915 called On the Beach at Waikiki. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Have got Jenny and Graham Griffith. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Cool. Yeah. Now you two are ukulele players. Is that correct? That's right. And we we play at the Balmain Ukulele Club. We're part of the Buckhouse Band. B oh, wow. K. All right. Balmain Ukulele Club. That sounds great. Now I've heard all about you. You are friends of another guest of, of mine, a friend of mine, Mary Cockcroft. That's right. And uh, she told me about you. And she also plays the ukulele. Certainly does. And basically. A ukulele, from what the general public understands, is a small guitar. Is that what it is? Well, it's tuned differently. Let's have so a look. It's actually, it's got four strings. Uh huh. And uh, it's tuned. My dog has fleas. So that. Uh, my dog has fleas. Wow. What is the history of the ukulele? Well, it was brought from um, Portugal. In 1879, mm -hmm. a ship landed and they had the Brigina. And that was the introduction to the ukulele. But the Brigina, the Brigina had its steel strings, I think. You obviously do this as a bit of a living as well. Do you kind of, or it's kind of like a professional hobby? Like you've both got day jobs, you said. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Even when I was in Hawaii in 1977, I met a very famous steel guitarist, Billy Yulen, who worked for the airlines. And he told me, don't give up your day job. <laughs> yeah, well, I work in community television and believe me, I've still got a day job. <laughs> That's true. We do lots of jobs. We, we play in, in, in Glebe once a week at, in a restaurant and uh, we do corporate gigs. Oh, what sort of gigs do you end up doing? Like what weddings? Weddings, do you... we do weddings. What's the most popular one? The most popular for weddings is the Hawaiian wedding song, where ah. people will hire us just to do that song. Ah. And Hawaiian gigs, um, where they have corporate, have, have um, you know, their, their theme nights and stuff like that, and we'll play in the background while they eat. And, oh, okay. And they, they sometimes get us mixed up when we play Hawaiian music. They think we can do Beach Boys, which we, which we don't. But hang on, hang on. You look like... <laughs> You could do Beach Boys. Yeah, but, but the music we play is, is really quite different. It really is, it's the old Hawaiian stuff. Upper Hioli, it's called. It wow. literally means half white. So oh. when they, they, they wrote a lot of the songs when, when it became popular, and they write in English and sprinkle the Hawaiian words through. So there's, there's songs with, they're all in English with little bits of Hawaiian. I see you have several different little ukuleles behind us. Why don't we have a look at them? Okay, well, 
this one here, this is made by a friend who actually made Graham's steel guitar. That wow. We just saw. And was this made in Australia? Yes, it's made out of black wattle. Wow. It's, a, it's, a, it's nicknamed Sally Wattle. He is the guy that made it. He made two ukuleles for Australia, the movie. Wow, that's incredible. Custom, custom ukuleles for the All movie. All right. Now, how about, what's that little, that looks like a banjo behind there. It's a, a banjo, it's a banjet. Okay, a banjet. Or a banjoette. Banjoette. Sometimes they, they call them banjoleles too. And it isn't sweet. It doesn't sound sweet at all. All right, it's well, let's see. It's designed to cut through <laughs> horn sections. Okay, well, so. let's see. That one there isn't a ukulele, it's a steel guitar. So it's what we'll, we'll when we play in a Hawaiian tune, okay? And it's it's played flat. It's played with a metal bar. They're called finger picks. Finger picks, and, 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 and a thumb pick. You now, notice? what do they actually do? They, they well, they, it's to get edge on. See, this is much louder. The first electric guitars that ever happened were Hawaiian guitars, not Spanish guitars, not normal guitars. You also have a CD out called Hula. That's correct. Is this only your own material? No, they're covers, but they're old Hawaiian tunes. Okay. But this is your CD, this is one that you've produced. Yes, it's our band. Well, Jenny and Graham, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having thank us. You. Cool. Now, I'm going to pop off the chair and I'm going to let you two do your thing. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We'll see thank you soon. And then Tin Pan Alley got hold of the ukulele and wrote silly songs like this one. This one was written in 1925, called Jada. We'll